See, I was thinking, like, when I was playing this game, like, why the fuck does this planet sound so familiar? And then I got to the end of the game, and I was like, oh, fuck, oh, no! What the fuck? <laughs> hey, oh, hi! The Skittle Corn is here. <laughs> hey! <laughs> did... That surprised hey, absolutely make... nobody. <laughs> I mean, not me, anyways. No, hey, I'm yeah. pretty sure it did it. You're, you're That's 11. <laughs> Lance, I saw it coming the moment ears. I saw the name. Aw, oh, shit. Uh, yep. What? I have to face a spider. Oh, no. Ugh. Oh, boy. It's the spider. <laughs> Nobody likes the spider. No, get off. Arach get off. Get the off me. Pain. Arachnophobes, be wary. No, no it's, a, it's a giant robot spider, so it's not nearly as scary. That guy is an ugly ass spider. <laughs> yeah, and it's fucking annoying. God damn it, get off me, that's the third time already. <laughs> it 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 yeah, like I said, this spider is annoying as shit. Yeah. It's a spider with an inner jaw, okay. It picks you up and shakes you about, that's... Oh, God. You put your lucky. eight legs in, you put your eight legs down, you put God, your eight legs in, it. and you shake him all about. <laughs> Very funny, Bliss. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. it Get off! Let go of me! Let go of me! <laughs> no! Unhand me, villain! <laughs> That's what he sounds like. Let go, you Let big go spider me. bitch! God. Let go! The strategy that I remember for this guy mainly If he gets was... close, you curl into a ball. Yep. That and try and go the opposite way of the way that he's going. Yeah. So you can cross him up. <sighs> Still crawling on the goddamn wall. Open your fucking mouth already. <laughs> Open your fucking mouth, say, ah! Yeah. Open <laughs> wide, bitch! <laughs> that sounds like my first date, though. God damn it! Oh! Kinky! Damn it, Steven! Oh, uh, Ellie would. Ellie would definitely miss out on this. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Jesus Christ, stop crawling on the goddamn wall! I mean, at, this, at this point, the jokes write themselves. Pretty much. Open wide already, thank you. Oh yeah, we should let Blitzer in on the whole fucking uh, Samus versus Xenomorph. Ooh, yes, oh, best yeah. crossover. <laughs> Absolutely. Samus solos, no difficulty. I, I, I'm sorry. Aliens. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, but yeah, no, Samus would fucking shoot ah, a curb stomp back her, her fucking Xenomorphs. Uh, Xenomorphs kind of exactly. became cannon fodder anyway after the second film, so... I mean, she's, she's literally crap. fucking... Her her literal job description is fucking stomping rogue aliens that she's never fucking heard of before, so... Well, oh, look, God. I even argue that, like, Solar, you could probably... I mean, if you kept the distance, obviously, if you God could take out a Xenomorph with an AKA... Honestly, anyone with military training, good old, old with grenade launcher, yeah. I mean, anyone out in with... the open, yeah, you can oh, take absolutely. one out. Yeah, out in the open, easy, easy peasy. But out in the woods or in the dark in school where you can't see them in a crowded area and you can't see shit, uh, you might be in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Specific. Yeah, but we were, we were saying she'd be able to handle fucking the fucking the xenomorph queen. Now, okay, easy. Xenomorph Queen might take a little bit more firepower. <laughs> oh, easily. Like I'm not saying that it would be it would be a fucking an easy win for her compared to the regular ones, but she'd still be able to take it on. And which mm. one would you which one are we talking about? The one from the second film or the one from AVP? Because they are actually both very different. Yeah. Theoretically. I feel like uh, it, this... Yeah, I feel like we wanna go with the one that's gonna have the best chances, so whichever one the best stacks up the best well okay if he were to take on the first one from the second film uh he'd probably need a, a minigun that would probably take it out unload an mm. entire round of a minigun 200 rounds yeah yeah you probably could kill it then if it were the one from avp um you probably may need a lot more than that a good old fully automatic grenade launcher yeah, those I'll are probably do it. Gosh, what about the, like, what about the hybrid of the alien and the Arr! predator? How would they fare? Well, well, the hybrid of the, the Chet, alien. That was Czech, I think. Chet, yeah. Um, 
Ah. Or pred alien. Um, well, see, that might be a challenge because that one is a, is not stupid. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay, to be fair, xenomorphs theoretically are not stupid, especially if one is alone. And it knows God it's fucking vulnerable, damn it. so that one tends to take precautions. But if it's uh, but if there's more than uh one, they usually just just cannon bother themselves, and they don't care because it's like, eh, it's okay. We got a buttload of brothers and sisters. We'll just we'll, we'll kill you eventually. Video. <laughs> <laughs> uh, again, I think it, it all depends on your location. If location, you're out in the open, location. well, they're screwed. Hmm. Don't put Solar in a school without power, alone, with 10 Xenomorphs running around, he'll be screwed. <laughs> huh. Nah, I'll just take him on in a fist fight. Bare yeah, knuckle shit. boxing We're match. Supposed to. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you're, you're funny, you're, you're a funny guy. I, I'm, yeah. I'm kidding, I would die. Yeah. I feel like even- I feel like even if a human can throw a punch that can break the skin on a xenomorph, you have to worry about the thereafter acid bath you were taking. Well, that's why you need distance. Oh, yeah. That's why I said if you're out in the open, yeah. you should be fine. Just keep your distance. But that's why I said don't put solar in a school without power against ten of them, because he'll be fucked! <laughs> Actually, that- that gives me an even better idea. How far- how far would the aliens have to go to- be able to potentially stop Samus. That's a, it's a good fucking question. Like, would you need a Xenomorph to somehow impregnate a Metroid, or would you need to get Ridley or Mother Brain, make yeah, a Xenomorph right. out one of those? Yeah. I, I don't. I don't think Ridley would fucking go down seen. to a fucking Xenomorph. <laughs> What's that dragon's uh, name? It... Which one? Oh, Crane. Is that his name? Crade? Crane. Kraid was the giant Kraid. fucking Godzilla monster that has the belly spikes. So if you're talking about the purple dragon monstrosity, that's, that's Ridley. Ridley. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Nah, I'm talking about Kraid. Kraid. Um, what, if he got, what if he got face hugged and then became this oh, monstrosity? <laughs> I, have a very hard time. I mean, I the just... whole thing about face huggers is that they just impregnate them with a chest burster, right? Uh huh. Mm. Yeah. I feel like I feel like even if Kraid did get fucking chest bursted, he would just be fine because he's that fucking huge. Like, have you seen the fucking belly spikes that he launches out? Those things are massive, anyways, and he I've just grows them right back. Him, I've never actually seen him in the games ever because I don't play Metroid. Never play Metroid. Basically, he's got neck spikes, belly spikes, and dick spikes <laughs> that shoots, and he can launch his fingers at people. I'm the biggest fucking dragon that you've ever seen. Yeah, You're like, gonna if, die, motherfucker. If, I take you up by screens. If someone like, has an entire to go? arsenal, average xenomorphs would never stand a chance. Yeah, there, yeah there's, 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 there's no chance. That fat ass. <sighs> I always call them fat ass dragon whenever I play that that stage. Uh, that's also really. got me thinking. Could a face hug, uh, like, believably, like, yeah, that's another you know, impregnate question. mother brain. Could a face hugger even fucking actually face hug Kraid? Wait, wait, wait. Probably wait, not. He's too There's too a considerable small. size difference there. He yeah, would probably he's just too small. He would fucking eat that shit. They'd be like <laughs> popping M and M's to him. <laughs> really? They'd be like They're a really butt fly <laughs> trying to pregnate him or something. <laughs> exactly. This actually reminds me of um, like. <laughs> An alien versus predator game. I remember that was basically a command and conquer type thing. And if you played as the aliens, you had to make specialized face huggers for bigger prey to make better aliens. He's fucking blocking the way. <laughs> kind of neat. <sighs> so I, I guess. I've heard of this one. I, I I played Alien versus Predator Extinction, but it never allowed me to do that. It didn't need me to do that. Hmm. I'm gonna search it. Like, I do remember a game that was basically Alien vs. Predator to Command and Conquer. Figures, I come in here, I derail the stream by talking about aliens. <laughs> Honestly, we were talking about it earlier, it's, so yeah, yeah. Not, not really derailing not anything. Okay, good. <laughs> I was worried. If, any, if we, anything, you're helping. Yeah, okay, we good. were talking about it earlier, and then you came in and like, Wait oh, Bliss minute. is a huge Aliens fan. What, is, what oh. do you think he thinks of this? <laughs> I could go on a rampage and quote the movies. 
Wait, do I have to? Okay, so. Okay, it turns out I was a little bit off. The way it works for the aliens is you start with the queen, you gotta make egg, the eggs hatch into the face and then game? you need to impregnate different things to get, like, an already set up array of different aliens, like the Pred aliens and stuff. Alien vs. Predator Extinction. I'm reading yep, the quick Yep, I played that game. Hmm. Yep, I played that. I played that game to shit. <laughs> I played it so I've... hard. I really like it because it was really out there with the alien variants you could get. Like, I remember there was a really big fucker whose sole purpose was to carry other smaller aliens on its back. Oh, that's, yeah, that one was called the Carrier. That was a cool animal, but uh, I think my favorite one, easily, okay, that I, I enjoyed that. spamming the hell out, was the Ravager alien. Now that motherfucker, just... he's the biggest you can get, and his sole purpose is to kill. He doesn't, he doesn't like knock out or incapacitate. He murders you. <laughs> he, he's a big, he was a big blue xenomorph, very bulky looking, um, had razors coming out of its back and razors for claws. Hmm. Slice and dice. Chops. Ravager's meat. just a really fucking cool name. Yeah, so you had the Ravager, uh, that was all cut and dice, kill, all kill. Carriers would throw huggers at uh, other creatures as well as be a good source of battle. Uh, kind of a semi take to the Ravager. You had the Praetorium, which you really didn't want to take in the battle because those were your backup future queens. Uh, you had the Pred Aliens, uh, the Runners, and the Drones. Yeah, I actually went to a site to look up all the units and yeah, pretty much. Why is there an angry sun in Mario? Because there know. is. It's a Mario game. There's a lot of yeah. weird shit in that. I went to dance two weeks ago, season. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> the season just <laughs> recapping uh, the no. quotes you love to say. To dance. No, no, I need to get Golden me. over here to hang out with us and we'll take you to dance. <laughs> yeah, I'd be willing to Go to, to dance. Going to dance.